I have to ask you a question selfishly. You've run a service business. Now you're doing this SaaS and marketplace. I know you've done other things too. I wonder if you can reflect on, were there things you loved slash hated about running that service business and being local? Are there things that the grass is greener on the SaaS side? Are there other headaches that uh, you didn't have to deal with before? I wonder if you could just talk about business opportunities and kind of business models and which, which you prefer and why. Yes, it's the SaaS operator is envious of the super profitable small business owner and vice versa. And the grass is always greener on the other side. And there, there were pros and cons to both journeys. The landscaping kind of blue collar in the trenches, me operating it with a, with a team around me was super profitable. It was super straightforward. I could, I could outserve my competitors in a very straightforward manner. Um, I knew that one plus one would equal two. It was a very linear thing. If I worked really hard, I could get from point A to point B. And that made it, that, that made it kind of fun and rewarding in a way. And I did, I was very lucky in that business and did very well in it. But on the other hand, a lot of what you do is just solve the same problems day in, day out for years. And it can be monotonous. And in fact, I had a shop manager one time at the height of the company. We had four full-time mechanics working for us. All they did was fix trucks, fix lawnmowers, sharpen lawnmower blades. And I had to have a manager manage those guys. And he said to me one day, he said, if these guys would just put their tools where they go and sweep up the floor at the end of the day, you wouldn't have to pay me to do a job. And, and so it's, you're solving the same problems every single day. And so that, that kind of sucks about it. Now, changing gears, invented, running a tech company, it, like you would think it'd be similar, but it's really a totally different ball game. It really, there, there are almost no parallels. And when you're starting a tech business, a SaaS business, usually you're inventing something brand new from scratch that does not exist. It's a new way of doing things. Or maybe it's a better way of doing things. It's a new approach to solving a problem that involves uh, user interfaces and technology. And so you have to educate people on that and convince them to use it and build something that makes their life better in such a way that they continue to use it. And what they don't tell you is that is 100 times harder than just running a traditional business. A traditional business is hard, as, hard enough, but inventing something and then like hitting the, the, the mark and going from like failure to failure, trying to find what that mark is a lot harder. And once you nail that, then it does get easier in a way. You don't have to solve the same problems every day. Technology kind of solves and automates those away. But uh, it's a lot more challenging. But I wouldn't want to go back and run a landscaping business ever. So it's like these things have built on themselves for me.